All right, welcome everybody. Today's video finds us over here in Chiang Mai. We're at the second of the two royal temples, the first class temples that are here in Chiang Mai that I came up here on this trip to make videos of. We're at Wat Siri Safan, I think is how you say it. Anyway, it's the Silver Temple and it dates back to the 16th century. It was built in the 1500s. Now, as you can see behind me is a uh, chetty that's uh, collapsed down that they're uh, working on restoring. We'll look at that. Then we'll look at the uh, silver workshop. They have a local community silver, uh, like they hand do all the silver stamping and everything. So we'll take a look at that and then we'll look at the uh, temple. So let's uh, see what we see. So you can see what this chetty used to look like. So this is about 520 years old or so, and they have all the bricks. So this chetty collapsed down and they are over here working on restoring it. So it has the outer bricks and then it's just a bunch of the small bricks that are on the inside. So something happened to cause this thing to slough off. And then you have all the workers over here. So you can see here they have all the, basically the rubble and then they've stacked the other bricks and you can see how this was constructed. So they just stacked them and then they used a, like a dirt filler and then they put that external on it. So they're over there going to shore up the base and then uh, put it back together it looks like. And that jetty was for this temple hall right here. So we'll look in that next. Right next to it is the local community silversmith workshop. So they have a couple little restaurants and stuff here. And then back over here, this is where they're hand stamping all the sheets. Now they're doing it with aluminum. They're not actually using plates of silver, but you can get the same effect in the aluminum. So we have some over there banging on it. We have a little hand crank here. This would uh, roll out the sheets. And then they, uh, they pour it in the form and then they, uh, they stamp it. You can see all the work that he's done right there. And then they have all their little molds here. And then the monk over here, he's, he's doing some more stuff. It's like he has a pattern drawn on the piece of paper. What they do is they use these blocks of wood and then they stamp on top of it. And she's making some more over here. So she's made some keychains. So you can buy the little keychains for 20 baht and some of the other stuff. Bookmarks, coasters, little souvenirs here. And that's all the blocks of wood that they started out and then some of the other stuff that they've done. She's doing all the little detail work around there now some more so he's getting ready to get started so he's putting the, the pattern that he's going to make right on top of that and then he's going to stamp it so all of his tools are in this little bag there and then he'll use that block of wood yeah that's pretty neat it's just right here next to the temple and it talks about here this big sign here talks about the history of the area all right let's go look at the temple buildings now and right next to where they're making it this if they're uh, little store over here look at that so they hand stamped all of that and then over there with the the Buddha and all of that the flowers that is fantastic so just outside the uh, temple got some more people over there doing some handcraft and then there's uh, the little community and everything around now they uh, wanted to incorporate the uh, silversmith community into this temple that was why it got the royal patronage this is the front gate to come in. Now most of the buildings have all been renovated fairly recently or are new construction, but it does date back to the 1500s. Okay, I don't know if we can get in that building right there, but the main part that we're gonna see is over there. Now most of this here around is all aluminum, 
but I'm on the top up there is supposed to be pure silver. Yeah, that is fantastic. Yeah, they have this little wee hand locked up. We can just look at it from the outside. Yeah, I would really like to see what the Buddha image looks like in here. But we can appreciate the outside of this building. It's pretty nice. So it has the little, the monster that's stealing the moon right there. And then some of the other scenes of the Buddha. Then it has those mythical birds up there on the peaks and the Naga down here with the inlay. Yeah, it's nice. And then the Naga on the stairs and then the giants. It's another nice look at that building from over here. And then here looks like they have kind of a library maybe. And then the main hall. Let's look in this little wooden library first. And they have all the silver work. They have a silver Ganesh here. You see the rats. Now the story with the Ganesh goes is you're supposed to come up to it and you have the rat here. And you're supposed to whisper in this ear and then cover the other ear. And what the rat will do is the rat will send your little message over to the Ganesh. Like if you want to uh, have fortune, now you have to cover the opposite ear because they say that if you don't, that your message will just go right through the rat, rat's head. And then uh, he will run up there and deliver it to the Ganesh and that's that. Oh, this is a little museum, it's not a library. So they have some of the silver work here and some little data plates and stuff like that talking about the silver, the silver making. And some of the other stuff. Right, let's go look at that, uh, that hall now. Now this little hall right here, this is all the silver. This is fantastic. This is absolutely unbelievable. They have a Buddha footprint over there. All of this with the Naga and the Buddha. Now women are not allowed to come inside of here. Only, only men. This is fantastic. Just the amount of detail work that's in this. So you can see the different sheets of aluminum that they stamp there. So all that on the bottom is definitely the aluminum sheets. But Dave, look at all of this. I don't know how well that's going to come out on the camera. You can see all the detail work in the headdress the bracelets, everything. And then we have a little mural here for King Rama 9. He has his camera. Yeah, this is just the entrance. We're not even inside yet. way to get in. You can see how it's three-dimensional here. Oh, that's cool. That's what inside here. So you have some of the famous monks and then the door is it's wood that they've carved and painted gold and then they have that stamped silver on the outside. Oh, that's cool. And they put the lights behind there. Now they're supposed to have a, uh, like a light show, like whenever it's nighttime, they have some different colored lights that shine on this building. So here you have kind of the scenes of the hell. This kind of reminds me a little bit of the white temple up in Chiang Rai, except for this is of course all silver. And then you have some more of the hell. It looks like the skulls and the dragon. It's inside of the mouth. And then you have the Buddha there. Sometimes this will be the goddess of earth. She'll be wringing the hair and flooding the world, but it's a different uh, scene here. And some more of the work. There's the prayer wheel. And then here is the main Buddha. 
So it's a nice contrast with all that silver and then the gold. And another prayer wheel over here. And it has like the little window uh, slots. Now the floor is even this stamped aluminum. That's kind of cool because you walk on it, it kind of like bows underneath your feet because it's just uh, laid here on top of the tile. And then they have different stuff all around. Yeah, this is fantastic. And then the main Buddha with the, that's kind of like a Bodai tree in green. It's not really a real tree, but it's kind of to symbolize it. And it has some of the small little Buddhas all around. Yeah, this is very interesting. That's kind of a cool look right here. This is standing in the front, just looking in. It's like the silver cave. All right, it's so one more look here. They have the Buddhas and they have all those silver columns. Yeah, that's cool. Let's go back. Yeah, these are the ordination stones right here. You normally see them made out of stone, but these are, uh, they have the little silver. Oh, what it is? Oh, I see. It's the prayer wheel and then down there is the stone. Oh, that's cool. And that's what symbolizes the, uh, being the, the obosote or the ordination hall. So that's a flagpole right there. And then it's another. So this temple was dedicated to the 720th anniversary of Chiang Mai. That's why it's uh, pretty important. And then it uses the, the craftsmen from this local community here. All right guys, so that's gonna finish our little video over here at this temple. Wat Siri Sufan, or however you say it. This is a really cool place. It's the second of the two royal temples that I've done a video of here in Chiang Mai. There's like 29 royal temples, the first class in Thailand. And they have second class, third class, and they have the special class that is Wat Prakau in Bangkok. But uh, the first classes are the ones I've been focusing on and showing. And I'll pin a comment to uh, Wat Pra Singh. That's the other uh, royal temple here in Chiang Mai, if you want to see it. These are the best because they get the royal patronage and they get extra money and they're just really nice. This is, they say, the first all silver uh, temple. Uh, Wat Mung in uh, Ong Tong has a, like a ubisote that's all silver, but this has all the buildings here that are, uh, that are silver. So it's, uh, it's quite cool. So uh, anyway, uh, if you like this video, make sure you click like and subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, this is what I do. I just go and I walk around and I show you things that I see and tell you a little bit about what I know. And I try to go and I see things that are interesting to me. So if you're interested in this, then uh, subscribe and stick around and you're notified when I post a new video. And uh, leave me a comment. I know I forgot to say some things that I know about this temple. I always do when I'm making these. I get excited to see the buildings and stuff and I, uh, I forget stuff. So I'll try to do my best. I'll put as the most accurate description I can in the uh, video description. And uh, if you know something about it that I don't know, tell me about it in the comment down below and smash the like button. So from over here in Chiang Mai, remember guys, until next time, life is a journey. Enjoy. Enjoy.